He's as talented as I've ever seen, specifically around the green. He's one of the greatest players in the history of this game. He's extremely talented, one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> He is considered Tiger Woods' greatest nemesis due to their success in the same era. He is nicknamed Lefty because of his unusual left-sided swing in golf. Who are we referring to? Phil Mickelson. In this video, we will look at his background, lifestyle, and net worth. Number 5. Background, Golf Career, and Controversy. Philip Alfred Mickelson was born on June 16, 1970 in San Diego, California. Phil Mickelson is one of three children born to his father, Phil Mickelson Sr., who worked as a naval aviator before becoming an airline pilot, and his mother, Mary Mickelson. The family, however, settled in Scottsdale, Arizona, where Phil grew up. Phil became interested in golf as a toddler because his maternal grandfather, Alfred Santos, was a caddy at Pebble Beach Golf Links and took him to play golf. However, it was under his father's tutelage that Phil developed a creative short game while playing in the backyard. Obviously, I, I love to play. My parents used to take my clubs away as punishment when I was little uh, for not doing my chores. And Mickelson got better and better in his teens, so much so that he won 34 San Diego Junior Golf Association titles. Mickelson's brilliance led to him winning three consecutive AJGA Rolex Player of the Year awards between 1986 and 88. Phil became a big-time recruit, and he received a golf scholarship to attend Arizona State University, where he studied psychology. In college, Phil continued to excel and became the face of amateur golf in the United States by capturing three NCAA individual championships and three consecutive Haskins Awards between 1990 and 92 as the best collegiate golfer. He also became the second collegiate golfer to earn first-team All-American honors for all four years. Mickelson also made a remarkable victory at a PGA Tour event as an amateur at the Northern Telecom Open in Tucson. In June 1992, Phil graduated from Arizona State and became a professional golfer. He slowly began to add trophies to the cabinet. It included the Byron Nelson Golf Classic and the World Series of Golf in 1996, the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am in 1998, the Colonial National Invitation in 2000, and the Greater Hartford Open in 2001 and again in 2002. He also played the role of spoiler in ending Tiger Woods' win streak of six events at the 2000 Buick Invitational that kickstarted a rivalry. However, what was missing from Phil's career was achieving success in the majors. It was so bad that between 1999 and 2003, Mickelson had 17 top 10 finishes and six second or third place finishes. Phil was determined to shake the label as the best player never to win a major. And he did. Finally, in 2004, after 12 years as a pro golfer, Mickelson won his first major at the Masters with a one-stroke victory over Ernie Els to secure the famous green jacket. Phil followed up the win in 2005 and 2006 by capturing the PGA Championship at Baltusserol and another Masters title to push his tally to three. It also catapulted him to second in the rankings behind Tiger. Phil's bid for three straight major titles fell short when he collapsed down the stretch in the 2006 U.S. Open. In April 2007, he decided to leave longtime swing coach Rick Smith because of his driving inaccuracy. He then began working with Butch Harmon, a former coach of Tiger Woods and Greg Norman. In the September Deutsche Bank Championship, Mickelson defeated Tiger head-to-head -head for the first time when paired together on the final day of the tournament. By 2013, Mickelson had captured another Masters PGA Championship and an Open Championship. Between 2014 and 2019, Phil battled inconsistent form and close calls in majors, changing his swing coach, sports hernia surgery, and ended a winless run of over four years. In 2021, Phil made history in becoming the oldest major champion by winning another PGA Championship title. Yeah, I haven't been called young in a long time, so uh, you, you know, everybody out on tour calls me the old man. Phil's career did have its share of controversy. For instance, in the 2018 U.S. Open, Mickelson incurred a two-stroke penalty in a controversial incident on the 13th hole when he hit his ball with intent while it was still moving. He ended up shooting 81. In 2020, he was criticized after playing the Saudi International Tournament and missed the Waste Management Phoenix Open for the first time since 1989. In 2022, Phil doubled down on this issue and admitted in an interview 
to overlooking Saudi Arabian human rights violations in support of the Saudi-backed Super Golf League because it offered an opportunity to reshape the PGA Tour. After the backlash, Mickelson announced he would be stepping away from golf to spend time with his family. Fun fact. A fun fact from Mickelson's early life is that although he is called lefty, Phil is actually right-handed, but he tried to mirror his dad's golf swing who was also right-handed. As the saying goes, like father, like son, right? Another fact is that when he met his future wife, she didn't know much about golf. Phil told her he was a pro golfer and she thought he worked in the shop at a golf course. Yeah, you can't know everything, right? Number four, golf earnings, endorsements, and net worth. Phil Mickelson has enjoyed one of the most successful careers in golf history. However, his earnings started slow, like any other young golfer. Between 1991 and 1995, the golfer only earned approximately $2 million from his prize earnings. Then between 1996 and 99, he started to win several smaller tournaments that led to earnings of $7.3 million in that period. However, in 2000, Mickelson started to win majors, and his earnings hovered between four to five million dollars. The six-time major winner has led him to amass over 94 million dollars in his golf career and makes him second all-time on the career money list behind only Tiger Woods. Phil's mega success on tour has led him to being one of the faces of golf for nearly two decades and therefore has attracted the corporate world. In 2021, Forbes estimated that Mickelson earned $40 million in endorsements per year. The magazine company estimates that sponsorship money earned over Mickelson's career is over a whopping $750 million. Phil's sponsors over the years include Amgen, Workday, Callaway Golf, Heineken NV, Intrepid Financial Partners, KPMG, and Rolex. Mickelson even added endorsement deals with Amstel Light and Moline in 2020. He also had a highly publicized partnership with Mizzen and Main in 2018, in which he's an equity holder in the company. However, Mickelson's controversial comments in 2022 about Saudi Arabia led KPMG to announce that it was ending corporate sponsorship with a six-time major winner that dates back to 2008. Callaway Golf, which Mickelson has represented since the 2004 Ryder Cup at Oakland Hills, said it was pausing its relationship. Workday, which has sponsored Mickelson since 2017, told Golf Digest it would not be renewing the contract when it expires at the end of March 2022. In a statement that Mickelson posted yesterday, he apologized to the people that his comments negatively impacted. On that list now, himself losing those major sponsors in the fallout. Yeah, Mickelson will fill a pinch in the wallet, but after a sabbatical, he has a chance to remake his image. Good thing he is still in a good spot to not rush his return because CelebrityNetWorth.com has estimated his net worth to be $400 million. Yeah, I would say he's still in pretty good shape, at least financially. Number three, brain training and insane diet. Mickelson's triumph at the 2021 PGA Championship, as mentioned earlier at age 50, made him the oldest player to win a major. So what is the secret behind his legendary win? Mickelson credits brain training and diet. Concerning his brain training, he stated, just the ability to kind of quiet my mind and get rid of all the exterior noise. I don't want to get all spiritual, but that's kind of been the biggest thing for me. Mickelson has kept working on his mental game and his methods can be summarized in five steps. First, he improved his focus and ability to stay present. Second, he calms his nerves. And third, he creates a picture for each shot and committed to it. Fourth, Phil kept true to his internal goals and intrinsic motivation. And finally, he had a mental scorecard to measure the attainment of his process goals in the rounds. Yeah, Phil's mental fortitude wins half the battle. Phil's lifestyle and success are based on his diet. After the record-breaking win, he also stated, I've got to eat a lot less and I've got to eat better. I just can't eat as much and I have to let my body recover. But it's also been a blessing for me because I feel better and I don't have inflammation and I wake up feeling good. His diet involved a strict six-day fasting routine. During that time, he would only drink water in a special coffee blend. His secret coffee mix is made up of Ethiopian Girga Chef coffee, almond milk, cinnamon, and coconut oil. He has made better choices in what he eats, and the diet plan helped him to not only lose the weight, but also to achieve other wellness benefits too. The proof is in the pudding, and Phil's body transformation shows the sacrifice was well worth it. Number two, insane transportation and mansion. 
With a ridiculous net worth, Phil Mickelson can pretty much own any car in the world, and his collection is modest by rich people's standards. Lefty's collection begins with the powerful Bentley Continental GT. It is a 6.0 liter twin turbo engine rated at 626 horsepower twists, an eight speed automatic transmission, and a cool cost of $250,000. He also owns an Aston Martin Vanquish, is rated at 595 horsepower and has a top speed of 201 miles per hour, which can cost up to $500,000. This collection is called transportation because the man has a pilot's license and owns his own Gulfstream V-Jet airplane, which had a sale price of $40 million. Yeah, you heard right. In 2021, Mickelson announced that he had plans to move on from his Rancho Santa Fe property in California to build and live on the property he purchased in Jupiter, California. He has owned several properties over the years, including a 4.55 acre property he bought in 2001 for $5.1 million and sold for $5.725 million. It includes hand-carved stone fireplaces, leaded glass windows, and trust beams, which are a common theme throughout the single-story home, which has five bedrooms and six bathrooms. Among amenities are a chef's kitchen, an office library, an exercise room, a sauna, and a safe room. When Phil moves, he will join the likes of Tiger Woods, Greg Norman, and Nick Price in sunny Jupiter Island, with the obvious benefit of no state income tax. Number one, family and charity. Phil Mickelson is happily married to his wife Amy for the past 25 years. Phil met Amy way back in 1992 when the couple attended Arizona State University. At the time, Phil was a senior and Amy was a junior, as well as a cheerleader on the Phoenix Suns NBA cheerleading squad. The couple has gone on to have three children named Amanda, Payne Stewart, and Sophia. The couple has battled through trials over the year, including Amy's successful fight against breast cancer in 2009. In 2004, the couple set up the Phil and Amy Mickelson Foundation, with their objectives being to give support to youths and families through a variety of initiatives. It has raised money for various charities, and in 2019, the Mickelson Foundation became the host organization of the American Express PGA Tour event, raising $1 million, being raised for charities in the Coachella Valley. Sadly, the right to host this year's event was removed by the PGA Tour due to his controversial comments. Nonetheless, amid the controversy, Phil Mickelson can be proud of his achievements with his family, successful golf career, mega endorsements, strong work ethic, and the ability to enjoy life with all its luxuries. Do you think that Phil Mickelson can resurrect his PGA career amid his controversial comments? Do you think he will win another major to shatter his record? Let me know in the comment section, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel for premium sports-related content. Until next time.